similar to this, we can also define the derivative of a matrix with respect to a matrix. Suppose you have a matrix A having, let's say, four elements, A1, A2, A3, and A4, and also having a matrix W having, let's say, another four elements or even six elements, so W1, W2, W3, W4, W5, and W6, and I want the derivative of the matrix A with respect to the matrix W. Again, every one of those elements is independent from the other elements, so I can define this to be equal to dA1 by dW, dA2 by dW, dA3 by d matrix W, and dA4 by dW. Now, every one of those terms is the derivative of a scalar with respect to a matrix. So, if this original matrix was, let's say, an M by N matrix, and this matrix was, let's say, a K by L matrix, no dimensions need to be the same. But in this situation, this derivative right here will be a K by L matrix. This also will be a K by L matrix, and so on. So, we could organize the result inside some sort of tensor. Here, I have the first floor. So this is the first portion. This portion corresponds to this, and this will be a K by L. Now for this, I'll have another portion. Let's draw it in a different color. So I have another portion in the first floor, also having the dimensions of K by L. So that's for the first floor, and let's draw this like that. Then let's get then let's get the yellow color, and let's continue this drawing. So this is the first floor. Now for the second floor, I will have the same. So I can have Another thing here having this dimension, so this is again a K, and the depth has also a dimension of L. Then here I have the final one, which I will choose this color for, maybe this, maybe this, maybe any color. So here I have this, and here I have an L, here I have another K. So for this representation of our derivative, I always have this as having the dimension of M, here, this depth is always equal to L, this L, and this width right here is equal to K times multiplied by N. Every coulomb of this original matrix will be expanded to K elements right here, so this will be N by K. So the dimension of this tensor is equal to M multiplied by N by K here multiplied by L in the depth dimension. Again, of course, you can choose any representation you want. You can flatten this in order to have a 2D matrix. You can also use a 4D tensor instead of a 3D tensor. And you can actually do this very easily if you are using, let's say, Python NumPy, as Python NumPy allows you to create matrices of any dimensions you want. You can create a 3D array, a 4D array, a 100D array, whatever you want. So you can define arrays of higher dimensions, although you won't be able to visualize those arrays. So it really depends on the application you are trying to do or the goal you are trying to achieve.